little shack sitting back in the pines There was an old man rocking on his porch drinking shine He said, let me tell you about the good old days About plowing fields and building hay We didn't have much money, but we did fine Cause we had bear in the mountains and deer in the woods And the corn grew tall just like it should Friday night had a hillbilly ball Kicking and singing and carrying on Summertime in the pale moonlight Me and my girl getting it right It's a way of life, hey, it suits me fine Talking about a hillbilly state of mind Pipe smokers, we're back been blowing up the YouTube this weekend. <laughs> I'm going to finish out my former's flakes blends. This one is the bird's eye. They're all Virginia Periques, made in Germany, manufactured, I believe, by Dan Tobacco. And I forgot to mention, Hans Nielsen's is the name of these flakes. If you haven't noticed, the bird's eye flake the straight grain flake and the cross cross eye flake. Uh, like I said they're all uh, vapors. In my opinion, they're very very underrated. We're gonna give this one a crack and see what we got. Didn't spill it. Same presentation as the others. This one is definitely a lot more lighter in color. It's strange. It almost has no smell at all. Literally almost no smell at all. Look how much lighter that is. I'm really digging that for the fact that the other two were really, to me, pepper bombs. So this one will be a nice change of pace. Nice looking flakes. Very, very mild in smell. Uh, maybe a little bit of grainish hay notes. A little bit of uh, floral. Really not much smell at all. And uh, this is rather dry, so let me get my pipe packed and we'll get back to it. Okay. We are back. I have to say, these blends are just knocked right out of the ballpark. What I like about this one is, as I had stated, it's definitely milder on the Perik side. It's more Virginia forward. which is nice, so they're all three not pepper bombs, at least in my opinion. This one is definitely more sweet, more on the Virginia, but the preak is there. I don't know if I had already stated in my last video, but after I tried the very first one, without even trying the other two, I went ahead and purchased five tins of each without even tasting the other two because I liked the first one so much. And now after smoking all three, uh, payday, I do believe I'm gonna go ahead and buy another five of each. And mind you, that these are all, I believe, new, fresher tins. 
And we all know what Virginias do with some age. So if they're that good now, I cannot wait what a few years will do to these. I got a couple pipes made this weekend so far. I'm gonna, today is Monday, Labor Day. I'm gonna make another one today. Again, I'm sounding like a broken record, but these are just a straightforward tobacco taste with little to no casing or topping in my opinion. I keep referring to the HU blends and I've only had a few of those. Somebody gifted me some samples a while ago and I was really impressed with those and I haven't placed an order yet. I had the, the cart filled and I got scared and I backed out because uh, it asked me for my address, and when I typed in my address, it didn't ask me for the state, because he was buying them from Germany. It didn't have the state to add the state to the address. So I want to verify and make sure before I lose something in the mail again that I uh, will be getting the product. But I am going to pull the trigger and I'm going to buy a bunch of HU blends, and that'll give me some stuff to review this fall. I'm looking very forward to trying all those. The ones I've had, I really did like. But yeah, again, I want to thank my friend for turning me on to these former blends. They are phenomenal. I love them. as I've stated in a couple other videos, to me, I, don't, I love the Latakia blends, but after a while, you smoke so much of them, and to me, my mouth just starts getting scorched, and uh, all the tobacco starts tasting the same, so you have to break it up a little bit once in a while. And with uh, Virginia blends, Virginia flakes, and vapors, uh, they don't do that to me. I am getting more into Burleys and Dark Fired, but Virginias and Vapors are still my go-to. Just an absolute phenomenal taste. Sweet, but not too sweet. Just right. easy on the retro hail. Uh, if memory serves me right, this one almost reminds me of Orlick Golden Sliced, but amped up. Very nice indeed. Hope everybody had a good weekend. I know I did. Falls on the way. Football season is back. And I'm a happy camper. Talk to you boys and girls later.